Welcome back. We're grammar explaining our way through who and whom. We're on video five, and I've got fantastic news. I've saved the easiest for last. So let's get started. Here's the basic structure for this lesson. Who is Kilroy? In this structure, anyone on either side of that is is treated like a subject. The reason is that that is establishes equivalency. We're not giving or receiving action in this case. It's just like a mathematical expression. A equals B, B equals A. Who is Kilroy? Kilroy is who? Now, people generally get this right in its simplest form. Sometimes they overthink it because whom sounds more formal. So you'll hear things like, whom is your supervisor? Or whom is the best person to speak to at the managerial level? But don't be fooled. Who is the right word? And I did say in its simplest form because there are complications. Complication number one, be aware that there can also be a description word or phrase on the other side of that is. Who is tall? Who is sad? Who is under arrest? Who is under the table? Who, 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 who? Complication number two, look out for this sequence where the is is at the end. For instance, it depends on who Kilroy is, or who do you think Kilroy is? FYI, that is is at the end because that's how we sequence indirect questions. You do not need to know the formal rule, just be able to recognize that structure and use who. Complication number three, is has many forms. Who is good? Who was good? Who would be good? Who could be good? Who should be good? Who shall be good? Who will be good? Who might be good? Who may be good? Who would have been good? Who could have been good? Who should have been good? Who may have been good? Who might have been good? Who shall have been good? Who will have been good? Who is being good? Who was being good? Who are they? Who are you? Who am I? Plus some that I'm probably missing. Then there's all the negative forms. Who isn't good? Who wasn't good? Who couldn't be good? Who wouldn't be good? Who shouldn't be good? And on and on. So don't just look for the word is. And let me know if you want a lesson on that. And yes, I did find a prominent publication that messes it up. I don't mean to pick on the Wall Street Journal, but they always seem to have what I want. Here's Alexandra Bruhl. Advertisers will work with whomever is best at offering targeting in the greatest number of markets. We've seen this before. Subject will work with object. The object can be a complete sentence, but that complete sentence has to follow the rules of grammar. Remember that? Who is best? Advertisers will work with whoever is best at offering targeting in the greatest number of markets. Sorry, Alexandra, but you're in good company. When I was Googling around, I found the same mistake in the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 27. Whoever translated that passage for King James was definitely a poet, but he wasn't a grammar splainy. As always, thanks for watching and put your questions down below and like and subscribe.